Okay, welcome back to my channel. This is take two of this video, and this video is going to be a review of this monogram kit. It's an older kit. It's a 1991 kit. I've had it a long time stashed in the, in the closet with all the other numerous models I have. Um, it's a level two, skill level two kit. It's um, 1970 Boss 302 Mustang. This was a brand new kit. It was still sealed. I took the plastic off for the video because I don't think y'all need to see me how to take plastic off a kit. So we're going to look at the parts in it. The parts, uh, this is the bag that the parts was in. I've got just the, plastic, the glass in it right now. It's got the usual propaganda. Huh. I always wonder what would happen if you um, sent one of these old pieces of thing in. But anyway, let's look at this. So this is the, the body. The whole kit's molded in yellow, which I don't particularly like because... I just like the white. I don't know. I, I don't. I don't know. I just don't like looking at it. But the 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 molding looks good on this. Um, it's a nice looking mold. It's got very little flash on this body. Um, it does have some mold lines across this back and across this right across in here on this quarter. You can feel it. I don't feel it going up across anywhere, but I don't feel any more on the front. Um, on either side, I don't feel anything, maybe a little bit on this one, but overall, I mean, it's nice looking body. Yeah, so that'll, that'll work. Just got your regular hard rubber tires. They got nice little white letters on this side. Um, so yeah, well, I don't know, a lot of times I've. If I do white letters, I usually have decals that I do with them. This is the, the chrome. It looks pretty good. It doesn't really, it's not as shiny as a lot of the chrome, which I like. This is more, this is more resembling aluminum. So, yeah, that's pretty decent. But, but it's pretty decent because your bumper looks real chromey or your, but your um, grill doesn't in, inside the grill right here, which was really aluminum. It kind of has that look, but that's pretty cool. So yeah, the rest of this, these are just the trees. Um, you can look and see this kit hardly has any flashing on it anywhere, which is really good. I like that. Um, just some more parts, trees sure many of you have built this kit um, at one point I built I haven't built this exact one I built a the um, 429 version of this it was a 1981 kit that was molded in orange and I didn't um, I didn't paint that kit I left the body molded in orange and just cleared it but this kit I'm going to actually paint it and give me some nice dupa color yellow paint paint it and um, yeah it'll look good so there's the decal sheet decals are not yellowed or, or weathered or they're, they look good so I shouldn't have any problems putting these on and then you just have your typical instructions from back of that time period um, these are the simple type instructions you know, which I like. I don't like, I don't, I just don't like them ones that come with the book. You know, instruction book got all this crap in it. I just, I don't know. But yeah, overall, this is, um, I, I think it's a very nice kit for the age of it, for, um, what it is, skill level two, so it's not really difficult. Um, should be a pretty straightforward box stock build. That's what I'm doing. I'm building a box stock. So,
put these parts back in there. So, yeah, so that's about it for the this video. Um, you know, I I'm, I'm, I'm just don't want to make no real long review because most people have seen this or built this anyway. So, you know, there's no sense in spending a lot of time saying this, that, and the other because it is what it is. It's just a simple skill level two monogram kit from 1991 um it's a very nice looking kit and that's about it so until the next time i appreciate you watching my um channel and i'm out of here